Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for EMS Now. I'm here at SMT in Nuremberg and I'm joined by Mark Maas from Assembly on. Mark, thanks for joining me. Um, I think, uh, was it 14, 15 months ago that you introduced the iFlex at Productronica? Yep. Lots of excitement around it, particularly here in Europe, particularly mm -hmm. here in Germany. Yep. How's it been received in the market and what kind of installed base is there here, here specifically in Europe at the mm -hmm. moment? Well, it's, uh, it's been uh, received very well. Um, um, I think it fits, it fits very well with uh, the requirements of a high mix that you see in, in Europe, also in Americas. Uh, so we've got a, a nice installed base now in, uh, in, in both Europe and, and the Americas. Um, several customers in Germany uh, and in the US. Uh, mm -hmm. um, also, some installs in Asia, but less uh, because there you see still more the high volume. Yeah. Where, where we still have the AX, of course, which, uh, which shines course. there. Yeah, and in terms of the install base of the iFlex in mm -hmm. Asia, does it tend to be, are, are you seeing more shops or more EMS facilities in Asia that, that, that are looking for that high mix that are, are challenging on those smaller volumes? Well, what you see is that um, um, Asia is still typically a lot of high volume, but also there they've got a lot of challenges which are uh, brought to play because of the higher uh, labor rates that you see there, the higher transport cost, uh, quality things. Um, so, um, also in, in, in Asia, they're looking to ways to bring more value to their customers. Mm -hmm. um, so, also in Asia, you see more and more shops doing medium volume or, or, or lower volume, at least needing more flexibility. Uh -huh. um, and several of these shops uh, have also uh, invested in iFlex, so that's, that's good to see. Yeah, and flexibility is the key, modularity is also a key element there. Has there anything surprised you in terms of what the customers have been doing with it and the way they've been configuring the modules? Well, a nice thing to see with, with the iFlex and uh, especially in the dual lane modes that we have is that um, uh, several customers have, have caught on to the idea of using one lane for, let's say, volume production and the other lane for, for MPIs. Um, the machine Simultaneously. Is, yeah, the machine itself is, is so flexible that it can do it. As long as the setup fits, uh, you can mm. run whatever combination you like. Um, in that, in that uh, sense, there's, there's of course some challenge for uh, the machines in front and the machines behind. So for that reason, we had a, um, a consortium, uh, a dual lane day, which we had uh, last November, uh, where we uh, sat together with several players in the industry to talk about how can we bring more value mm. to dual lane customers. Okay, excellent. And uh, the, um, the developments that come from that are, are specific projects with specific clients to to well, kind we, of create custom solutions, I guess. Yeah, we, we talked about uh, how can we work together on practical cases, how mm. can we, uh, it, it's always good to know the other players in the line so you can give uh, maximum support and maximum value to your customers. Uh, it's not about pick and place only or it's not about printing only, mm. it's about providing a total solution to, to create ready products. That's the only thing that the customers really uh, care about. Um, so with installations, uh, you see in, in Europe fundings, uh, you see that uh, they want, uh, let's say, the one-stop shop. So in that case, it's it's good to be able to work together with all the yeah. players in the area, and not be, uh, let's say, confined to one player. Mm. Uh, you give the, the the customer the opportunity to still uh, use the one-stop shop yeah. uh, principle, but then but pick the by choice. They need. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, and that means you've got to work with a number of AOI suppliers, a number of Correct. print suppliers. So the way your machine communicates outwardly becomes really important. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's also what we saw in the discussions. Of course, you've got the, the SMEMA standard, which is, is pretty uh, standard already for years. Um, you also see that it's kind of outdated. So last Apex, I had a discussion with the guys of IPC. Can we open it mm. up? Can we make a new one to, to be more in, in line with, with today? Mm. Um, since the introduction of uh, the SMEMA standard, you've seen a lot more variations of uh, dual lane yeah. than what is described in, in the standard. Uh, also, we had very good discussions with the people from, from Mento, from Valo, on what information can you share between yeah. all the machines. So there's yeah. a lot of yeah, nice projects. Uh, yeah, a lot of good communication there at, um, at the machine level and at the uh, at the executive level, which yep. is which is really important. In terms of markets, how's the German market doing? And and also, what about the Eastern European markets, for example? How are they meeting the challenges? Uh, well, Germany is, is a very important market uh, with a lot of industry, uh, big automotive industry, mm. big industrial industry. So Germany in itself is, is a very important market, not only for uh, the local market, but also because they've, uh, many of the, the customers in automotive, for instance, have the headquarters in Germany and production facilities all over the world. 
Um, so Germany is a very important market that, that has a lot of focus within assembly on. Um, if you look to, to Eastern Europe, um, there's, there's some trends, uh, again, from, from, from people from the, uh, the Far East coming back to, uh, mm. to Eastern Europe. Um, yeah, so there's also some trends we're, uh, we're trying to jump on. Yeah. Yeah, and that reshoring or regionalization, whatever, whatever different people are calling it, yep. a lot of the benefit there, because it is low cost, is coming into yep. Hungary, Romania, those kind of low cost yep. environments. You have a decent install base there and yep. a support network, I guess yep. that's, that's yep. attractive to you. Yeah, we, we've got a, a global uh, support network, uh, which you have to have as a global player. And, uh, Last Apex, we were awarded again with uh, the Service Excellent Award for 13 out of 14 times. Yeah. So we're doing a good job there. Yeah, yeah, and that's uh, that's important, isn't it? That's something that that definitely. I think when the industry gets to a point of maturity mm -hmm. and people's products are quite similar, the actual experience they've had with Assembly on, for example, becomes really really important in terms of their decision making process. Correct. Yeah. So those Service Excellence Awards. And actually, what goes behind them because they're voted by customers is yep. is a key value. Yeah, we're, we're very happy to receive uh, yeah. that that uh, that prize uh, yeah. year after year. It's, it's uh, yeah, it gives us great pride. Yeah. and and uh, like you say, it's it's not only about selling your machine initially, but it's helping the customer to, to keep it running yeah. perfectly yeah. over many years. But to maximise their yield, minimise their downturn, speed Correct. up their changeover, yep. all those challenges and issues that we see everywhere now yeah yeah mark thanks for stopping by thanks for your time good luck with the show and thank i hope you. we can see you again soon okay thank you thank you